Welcome to the post show interview of episode 1875 with Mateo Lane. Hi. Hi. That's you, how you know aliens didn't take over his body. I know. I love doing high notes there. The, you're an opera singer. Yes. But I'm a bass. I'm the lowest opera singer, like the lowest voice there is. So why? Because it's you, more fun. Oh, okay. So you'll never sing those high high notes on stage? Oh, I might, in my act I will. And maybe if I'm singing Vision of Love at karaoke. All right. That's fair. Will you do like five seconds of opera? Um, <clears throat> oh, wait, <laughs> loud. I haven't warmed up. That's how I would have played this it. This is terrible. No, that's good. Cracked. That was really good. <laughs> I also look like I'm having a, a really bad orgasm when I'm singing opera. But do you, do you see Keith's face when you're doing opera? Like, it's the only time that he appreciates it. Beautiful, pitch perfect. It is nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you you had an aunt oh, no. that. <laughs> Speaking of Italians and opera, yeah. <laughs> she, yeah. what did she do to her dog? I don't. So my aunt, uh, Italian women are crazy. Uh, my aunt, she's not very good with pets. Uh, she had a dog and it barked a lot. Its name was Candy. It was a Shih Tzu, and it barked a lot. And so instead of um, t- training it to not bark anymore, she went to the veterinarian and got its vocal cords removed. And they'll do that. That's a thing. I guess so. I guess that's a surgery that they'll do. Why but did the vet agree to that? I don't know, but it's ridiculous because inst- instead of barking when the doorbell would ring, she was much happier with... <laughs> You're just listening to your dog be upset all day long. It sounded like it had asthma. It sounds like she doesn't want a dog. Right? Oh, she's had literally, I think, probably top 50 dogs. And they, they come and then immediately leave. Mm-hmm. So you find the right one. I, I <laughs> she never will. I have a dog. And I'm what, not defending her. And it's important that they can make noise sometimes. Mm-hmm. Very important. Like let's say you want the dog on your bed. <clears throat> if, and if you had 50 dogs, you're probably one of these people. The dog <laughs> makes it clear when it needs to get off the bed to go to the bathroom. This dog has to be shitting on the bed, and she never know it. Well, you have are a you small. <laughs> you have a small dog. A lot of people's dogs are big and can just jump off the bed. I don't think a big dog would we, let you I have take a out its vocals. I have no. a pit bull back home in Chicago that I love and adore. And I can't imagine being like, it barks too much. Get rid of its right. vocal cords. If it gets shits too much, get rid of its asshole. Like, right. No, that's I, not how it works. You train your dog. You know what I mean? I don't know what you could have said to the vet that would make him say, oh, yeah, that really needs to be done. And you're paying for it. I would like oh, to I, get the his hair. His name was Candy. Can I get the hair around the eyes and the mouth clipped a little bit? Well, they do bit? plastic surgery for dogs now, too. Uh-uh. Oh, I promise you, 100%, they do plastic surgery for dogs. Not my Aunt Nikki. She gets rid of it immediately. To look like what? Younger? To more like Joan Rivers. <laughs> Can we talk? Um, she, That's crazy. She also like hoarded cats. Because we, but she wouldn't like tell us. We would come o- over and like she put them in the basement. But you would look under the basement door, and then there was just like fifty paws. Like, <laughs> I'll just pretend it's not happening. Is oh it too much? Is it too serious? It's crazy. No, it's just it's just show. Where do you go from there? Thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs> Italians are crazy. Keith and the girl.com.